<clears throat> All right, guys. So I figured we might as well keep going. Let's take a look at this list. Uh, we want to hide the image picker with the cancel button. That's the first thing. We want to give the plus button a white background. Uh, and we want to put the image picker in a new file. So let's go ahead and just do each of these things, okay? Uh, I'm going to make sure that I'm, everything I'm doing on here, I like to run on the device. Now that we're really getting complex, I don't like this canvas anymore, okay? So hide the image picker with the cancel button. Let's look at... <clears throat> The new post view. Actually, I think maybe what would be best is if we actually do put the image picker in a new file first. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do first. So I'm gonna come here, and I'm just gonna say new. Um, I like to do. I like to click kind of on the level I want a new file, just so I know it ends up in the right spot. Or actually, a new uh, Swift file, not Swift UI view, and we'll make it image picker. Okay, and that should be good. And I'm going to go ahead and import SwiftUI as well. And then I'm going to go to new post view. I'm going to grab everything that had to do with an image picker right here. All this stuff. I'm going to take it. I'm going to put it straight into image picker. And it is good to go. Now we can go back to new post view. And everything should still work as we had built it. And I just hit run. You can do command R. That's what I like to use. And while that's doing that, uh, let's look at what we were trying to do next. So what we wanted to do was have the have the ability to hide this with a cancel button. Okay, so I think one of the best ways we can do this is I actually want to go down to the sheet that we're presenting, and I want to do something a little unique. So first, let's just take a look at this. So trying to load up here. Okay. So right now we can't even see the new post view, okay? So what I can do is I can, I'm gonna start, I'm actually gonna go here and I'm gonna go to tab root view. And I'm gonna take me view, I'm gonna copy it. And I'm going to paste it. And I'm gonna make me view number three and I'm gonna, I'm gonna come here and make this one new post view. This one's gonna say add recipe. And we're going to use plus dot, I wrote which one I wanted, plus dot square. Okay. And let's run that. Let's see what happens. Let's take a peek at what we get. That should be what we're looking for. Here we go. Add recipe. And here we are. Back at this. So. What I want to do is I want to actually get rid of I want to get rid of that again. So I don't actually I don't, I don't want to spend too much I don't want to waste too much time working on that. So let's just stick with the new post view. We'll, we'll deal with that later. So if you look at the new post view, all this stuff still works. We need to make sure, of course, that this ends up up here, and we can probably fix that by actually getting rid of this. But we'll get to that later. Uh, the biggest thing I want to do is when you click this plus button. You remember we could do photo library and photo library pops up what I can also do here oops, cancel what I want to do is add something right here let me say show me a V stack and that V stack is going to include the image picker but I'm gonna put text above it just so I know it's here here is some text okay and we're kind of actually coding on the fly here uh, I really didn't test any of this code out in advance, so you'll have to bear with me, but it should work. So now if I go here, I can click the plus, photo library, and here's some text, and that, that actually worked out really well. So the reason I have that there is because what I want to put now is I want to put an H stack. And I'm going to give this H stack a frame height. Uh, let's say 80 and let's uh, let's run it let's see what we get I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this in dark actually we'll keep it open for now uh, we need to put something in there so inside that H stack I will put let's put a actually I'm gonna put a scrolling the outside scroll view Okay, 
And I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave this frame now. It's saying that the height of the scroll view is 50 inside there. I'm gonna put a text that says hello. And let's look at that. So what we should get is something a little bigger. Um, I'm going to go to the login view really quick. Actually, the home view. The tab. Let me go to tabs. Home view. And I want to take the line we had about. Uh, let's see. What I was looking for was the navigation bar hidden because I wanted to fix that, but you know, we'll just deal with that later. So I'll put the plus photo library. And sure enough, here is exactly what we were looking for. Okay. So we'll go back one more time to this new, uh, new post view. And so we have the H stack that says, hello. I'm going to give this scroll view. I'm going to make sure that it's horizontal dot horizontal. That's why this was stuck where it is. Uh, we want it to be horizontal. Okay. And maybe what we can do is we can put a for each. Okay. Let's say zero dot dot uh, less than five or even eight. And we'll say uh, in, so we want to put a rectangle just for now. Rectangle. All right. And inside that rectangle, we will give it a frame. Um, the width of, let's say, 50, and the height of, mm, let's go ahead and say, actually give it a height of 50, and a width of 80, and let's give it a background color. color dot red okay and I'll give the scroll view itself I'm gonna give that a background color okay run it let's peek at that now so if everything worked the way we're hoping I should have something that I can scroll left and right and the reason I'm building that for the library is I'm building something where I can actually view all the images that I'm picking. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start something here where I can pick multiple of these, and each one is gonna pop up here. Um, so I'll even go bigger than that. That's actually pretty small. So let's say we have a height of 100 and not even maybe 240. Sounds kind of nice. Then we can give these a height of 200. And even a width of 200, because right now we're dealing only with square images, just for now. And we can get to dealing with that kind of stuff later. All right. Now we're starting to get look get a good look at what we can make. Um, photo library. Now we're talking. So you can see what we got going on here. I'm going to take this H stack and I'm going to give it some padding. Um, yeah. I should give us a good amount of, uh, should make it a little more aesthetic now. Photo library. All right, now we'll be able to scroll through all the pictures that we, that we choose to, to use. Okay, so image picker, let's go look at, actually, let's look at this list so we don't kind of get too ahead of ourselves. Put the image picker in your file, done. Hide the image picker with a cancel button. Lucky for us, that's kind of already there. So uh, realistically, I'm actually not even gonna get rid of that. Um, I'm gonna actually leave this entirely as it is. Um, I don't see any harm in that, at least for now. Uh, I wanted to give this is a really small small detail, but I want to give this a white background. So plus dot circle. Dot background. 
color dot uh, yeah see what that looks like all right and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually look at uh, let's look at over here where we have this reusable view posts okay I know it kind of seems like we're kind of jumping around, but we, and we are, but that's because we're preparing for something. So let's look at this part right here. All right, it's trying to build itself. And so if we we can actually look at this for now, just to see what it, what it looks like. And I want to make just a few modifications. I want to add four new things here. Okay. So every post, if you remember, let's go to structs. Every post has the image, the description, the posting user, and the ID. Well, we actually need to give us some more things, actually. So steps can be equal to step. And lastly, ingredients. And that'll be an array of ingredient items. So, if you look here, I want to add a few things. First thing I want to add, if we look right here, we want it to be above the Im uh, below the image, above these icons. Okay. So right here, I'm gonna put two h stacks. Actually, I'm gonna I'd rather put one h stack, um, and then two v stacks inside of it. Okay, with the spacer in between. Mm. On the left hand side, we will put text that says, let's say, say, let's say three ingredients. This will be a placeholder. Okay. Uh, three ingredients. And then underneath it, I'll say, 15 steps. And then the next one will say prep time 15 minutes. And cook time and we'll say 35. Just putting some sample information in there. And let's hit resume here. Resume. Obviously, this is not up to date. All right, uh, it's not up to date because it's needed to be like that. Try again. Try that again. And what it wants us to do is it wants us to finish filling out this right here. So let's go ahead and do that. So steps, I'm gonna put for now, I'm gonna make that optional. Okay, I'm gonna go back to structs. Uh, even better, I can actually just leave it empty. So we'll go to the home view step and we'll put that. We need to put ingredients. All right, I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna find all where I see recipe post steps. Recipe post actually, it just needs to say posting user. We'll do replace with. We will just grab the same. Well, so I need to just grab that same thing and say replace all. All right, now, now, now that I save it, I should be able to go here to the post view and say, try again. And that should take care of that. Let's see what it tells us. All right.
so to clean this up we will go to right here we're going to make this a line it'll be dot leading okay that's for um, actually that's for the top one and the bottom one is to say trailing okay and that h stack should have some padding and let's see we got a lot of room between this and, and these guys so if you look at that item and this item there's a lot of room there so it would probably be best if we got rid of some of that so let's say padding but then we'll also say padding dot bottom zero so that fixed some of that and then for the other one we'll say not even if we just do five and then for the other one we'll do padding five as well so I'm gonna go here and I'll say padding dot top Mm. Let's not even do that. So, still, we got a lot of room in there. So, let's take this V stack, this entire V stack, and we'll just say spacing zero. That already condensed it a little better. I still don't like the size of that and this. So, maybe what we can do is we can just give this a padding. I don't like doing one by one because it's really tedious, but. Sometimes it's just the best thing to do. So padding dot top and I'll say padding dot left or I'm sorry, leading. Let's see, we should actually be able to do I think we can actually give it now nah, we're gonna have to keep doing it like that. So padding dot trailing. And that's looking a lot more reasonable. So let's go ahead and format these really quick. We'll make everything in that H stack have a font uh, dot system. We'll say style is going to be dot maybe medium. Dot system. There we go, we'll just use this one. And we will do maybe size 12 dot medium. There we go. Maybe a little bigger, like a 14, 15, let's try black. No, too intense. We can just roll with bold for now, okay? And just to give them kind of some unique coloring here, let's just say foreground color. We'll go here and find a color picker. And let's just pick some four nice colors, okay? So we can do something like that. Two, three, seven, one, nine, two, six, nine. Two, three, seven. We want this one. We'll do that for all of them. Okay, this will be the last thing we do in this video. Two, three, seven. We will two, five, five. One, nine, two, divided by two, five, five. And lastly, six, nine, divided by two, five, five. That should kind of give us like a little mustard color. It's not really continuing on because we need to finish putting at least a color for all the other ones. Maybe we can use this one. Uh, two, three, seven, eight, six, six, nine. Two, three, seven, eight, six, and six, nine. And then two, five, five. 
There's another one. And then for this one, let's put like a green almost. 108, 204, 108. 108, 204, and 108. Okay, and the last one I want will be something like that. So 108, 172, 204. 108. Sorry, but 108, that was 108, and uh, 172, and 204. And that chooses to reload there. Just hit play. Just to kind of get it to reload. There we go. So we got four different colors. So now I'll save it. Actually, I'm gonna do one last thing. I just don't I really don't like the size of all these spacings. So I'm gonna take that whole thing, which if I remember correctly has one global padding right there. Or something of that nature. This one has a lot of padding. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna make that padding of 10 or 8. Let's see, even 5 would be fine. Okay, I'm going to make this one 5. And, and I'm almost positive I'm going to like that better. Kind of pulls everything to the sides a little more. And I. Hmm. I'm not sure I like that either. So you know what? We're just gonna roll. This is, we're really getting into the details here. We we'll just roll with the de default sizes, and if we now go to home view really quickly, we just run it once. It looks like this is actually already updating for us, but we'll be able to scroll through all the recipes, get an idea of how many ingredients you need, how many steps it'll take, and prep time and cook time. So that pretty much accomplishes a lot of our goals. Um, in the next video, we will continue on here. It's probably going to actually try to show us on the simulator now. But there you go. So now we can, we're going to populate this with some more real data, okay? And the next thing we're going to finish up is adding a recipe. In my prime, we'll finish that up too. All right. So we're going to, next time we're going to, let's finish giving the plus button white background. I'll figure that out for the next video. Um... <clears throat> modify each view and we already have that done I'm gonna have to in my free time create sample data okay and firebase firestorm that'll be coming up soon and the half uh, model setup so uh, yeah that's pretty much what's coming up and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video see you then